Hello and welcome. Um, shorter update today. Coming by this morning to uh, pick up the quarters from last night to today. Last time I didn't get a very good shot of all the quarters that we collect, but it's heavy, <laughs> which is good. Um, also, uh, scrubbing down some of the old lint collectors. People put all kinds of detergent and beads and stuff that just melts and gunks down onto those. And so I ended up just getting soap and a brush and uh, it's coming off pretty easy. But um, the lint collectors that are working well in newer machines, um, I'll get some video of that. Should have a nice carpet in there. Uh, typically we'll, we'll clean those out uh, twice a day. Um, shouldn't have to do it more than that, but it, it fills up fast, especially with the more popular machines. Um, but nonetheless, uh, let's get a look at these quarters. So here's our collection from this morning. The quarters are really, really heavy. Um, basically all I end up doing is taking these quarters, putting them back into the machine, taking the cash out, um, and then I end up counting the cash. So sometimes people will probably bring in quarters, but more often than not, people walk out with quarters in their pockets. So. Pretty much every two weeks, I gotta go to the bank and get $500 worth of quarters, which weighs about 25 pounds. So um, I would guess this right here is probably close to that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, dump these in. So this is what the hopper looks like. Um, basically we have this big piece on top and then the two hoppers in the bottom that end up dispensing the coins. Um, and then we have the cash collectors there, which is how I end up get an account for the day so let's go ahead and uh, dump this in There we go. Now we're filled up. I don't have to worry about people running out of quarters. Probably going to try to get some more though this week and fill it up to about here. That way it can last the whole weekend. But for now, that should be good. Here we've got one afternoon's lint trap. Um, I mean, actually, I think this is even from last night. So this is basically just four hours worth. Um, I mean, it's so thick you can get it off in one sheet. If we were to leave it for an entire day, definitely start to become a fire hazard and I mean I've seen videos of people pulling off like two inch thick lint traps. Um, let's see what we can do here. Another beauty here for you. This one was actually jammed closed and so it looks like it wasn't changed yesterday. So I just went in there with the screwdriver, jammed this thing back open, and um, this one's ready for harvesting. I realize I haven't shown too much of the laundromat itself, but right here, this is going to be our premium wash, dry, full drop-off service. This needs a total makeover. Um, there's still a bunch of stuff here left over from where I bought it, and uh, next up is the bathroom. It is not ready. All right. Now that makes you feel more appreciated than a, than a nice bathroom.
Mmm. And doesn't smell pretty either. We've got some nice paneling here. Maybe I can salvage that. Either way, I've got a guy who can come in and uh, he actually took care of the bathroom at one of my rental properties and did a really great job. So if I have him come in and just honestly just tear this all out. I mean, the toilet's okay, the sink's okay. You don't need anything fancy, but all the walls and the floor need repairing. Got to make sure that all the plumbing is good, there's no leaks. Um, yeah, just pretty this up a little bit. So that's all I've got for today. Um, I'll keep posting videos on how we're doing, uh, how much we're collecting, uh, any other major issues that come up, and um, of course, lint traps. And until then, uh, thanks for watching.